Hello, Reba's Roos Therapy. Welcome back. So I just wanted to quick uh, give a little introduction of myself. I and my husband live in northern Wisconsin around the Comstock area. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that. Both my husband and I sell real estate. Uh, Reba is a nickname. Deanne is my given name. There'll be another, we can do a video about how I got that nickname some other day. Uh, so both my husband Darren and I work in real estate. Him and his brother um, own LakePlace.com Brothers Realty. We have an office in Cumberland and in Turtle Lake. I work out of the Cumberland office. But along with that, I have some little hobbies that I like to dabble in. Um, and I have, I built myself a little cabin in the backyard. It's a eight by 10 timber frame cabin that's 12 by 16 and has a loft. Um, you may have seen that in other pictures or if you know me, you've seen that. And I will, I will show tours or give tours of that somewhere in the future. Um, I'm, I'm not going to edit this video, so you're getting the, the true feel of me and uh, how I can stumble on words and probably say the wrong words and um, don't take my content as absolute 100% um, the gospel truth because it's possible that I mix some things up and stumble just because I'm new to this and it, it's going to happen. I'm human. You're human remember that. <laughs> so anyway, going back to the introduction, my husband and I have a uh, eight acres in the Comstock area and we like to do a lot of gardening. Uh, we were both raised on farms. I still enjoy animals a lot. My husband's like, mm, take it with a grain of salt. Um, not that he hates them. He's just not as big a fan moving forward as I have been. I have chickens um, and I Recently, well, I, it's almost a year now, I gathered up a couple of cats and we've I've been enjoying their company. <laughs> and we have an eight-year-old yellow lab, Bella. She's our big baby. Uh, so that's a little bit about me. Um, today, I just want to give you something fun to think about. Uh, this last summer, I built a cattle panel greenhouse in the backyard, and I want to try to get some plants started in there a little sooner this spring, hoping that it kind of extends our growing season, which is usually from like May 15th through maybe September 15th, depending on when your first and last frost runs in. But uh, today I have a sweet potato that I am going to start slips from, and then hopefully you get this out into the greenhouse a little earlier, or to the hoop house, a little earlier, and uh, get some plants growing a little earlier in the season. So I'll show you, let me tip this down here for you, you see a little better. Um, I'm kind of cutting my head off there. Let's try that. Okay. So I went to the grocery store, bought myself a sweet potato. Really simple. I don't remember what the price was, but it's it's probably less than a dollar. Take this sweet potato. I have some toothpicks in there. You see that? So just simple round toothpicks. Isn't that the cutest little toothpick holder? So you put your toothpicks in, find yourself a jar that your potato will fit in um, so that you can you can cover it with about about halfway with water. I'm gonna have to put some more water in my jar here, but um, you can use a quart size jar. You could use a pint size jar. It's all gonna depend on what the size of your potato is. This potato that I happened to choose was a little big for my quart size jar. So I went into my archived collections and found this jar. I believe this is an old Mayne uh, Miracle Whip jar from years past, but this has a wide enough mouth that this potato is going to fit in there easily. So you just fill it with water. Um, I would say maybe once a week, rinse, it, you know, change your water, rinse it out, just kind of carefully pull your potato out and put some fresh water in just because it might get a little stagnant 
depending on how long it takes for your potato to root. But simple. There's your jar. Put your potato in. And voila. I would just set it on the, I've got a little table here by the sliding glass door. I'm just going to set it on there and see what happens. It should. Um, one more thing. It, it, so <laughs> one of my favorite channels, Doug and Stacy Off Grid, she said, think of it like a woman. Put the bottom side down. Or the, the big end down. <laughs> I can't remember how she put it. But anyway, put your potato in the water. I'm going to fill this up with a little more water so that it does come up um, about to the shoulder of the jar here. And that will that will have about half of the potato um, submerged in the water. And we will do an update or I will do an update here uh, maybe in a few months or maybe a few weeks. We'll see how long it takes for this to uh, take on some roots. That's it. That's what I got for you today. It's actually currently snowing here again. It's beautiful. Here, let me turn you around. I'll show you that. I don't know if you can see that snow coming down. All right, well, there you have it. Everybody have a wonderful day. Enjoy your weather wherever it is because spring will be here soon.